Hey everyone, it's Blue Parappa. We're back with Dragon Fable because sometimes it's easier to just play a game that doesn't really have Let's Play poten potential than try to go back and just save one dude in Vampire the Masquerade because that quest is fucking bullshit. <laughs> I have some problems. Uh, but yeah, last time we got our egg here, and I have since looked up what each like of these do online. And it's it's true, like, I think some, uh, in the comments of the last video, people were saying, like, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, I like to make an informed choice. And by informed choice, I mean, I think, and, uh, I looked it up. Uh, I just, this one looks like a watermelon, and that's kind of cute. I'm sorry, but I'm not, ch I'm choosing this one, I think. Just checking, yep. And it's because of the stupid reason of the attack you get with this one. Like, the little note you get is the sound of something wicked this way comes, which, yes, is a literary illusion that I can't remember where it's from. But more importantly, the same literary illusion is made in a song I listened to a lot as a teen. It was Fearless by The Bravery. So I just see that quote and I just think, too many fingers, too many thumbs, something wicked, this way comes the first time I ever had, leads around to something bad. <laughs> so, because all of them seemed like pretty decent, uh, we're gonna do this one. Yes, I want this egg. It looks really boring, but it'll make a fun reference every time it does its special attack, and that makes me smile. And also, I have like six characters. Wait, what? Well... It'll probably- uh, eh. Yeah, but because I actually bought the game, I could have bought, like, a nice, like, a gothic outfit and reinvent my myself, but I bought this. So now I can officially say I've lost money doing these Let's Plays. <laughs> uh, but nah, now that we've chosen that, I think it'll hatch now? It's time! Quick, let's go to the cave where your dragon eggs- the hatching. What took you so long? You almost missed it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been- I've been waiting so long for this day. I don't get to see a dragon hatch every day, especially one so special. Tw wait, Twilly, you know it was gonna hatch today? Sure, Lady Celestia gave me the exact date and time of the hatching. What? Wh why didn't you tell me this? I tried everything to get it to hatch. What? Like what? Well, I tried sitting on it, of course. Board, 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 board. I, then I tried singing to it. Rock by Aggie in the stone claws when the wind blows up. I, I feel like an idiot. I tried asking it nicely. Hey, can you just... I, uh, pretty, pretty please with sugar and candy and whatever dragon eats puppies or princesses or something on top? I tried to d gently tap on the egg. Okay, Egg, let's see which one of us breaks first. I even tried a saucy puppet show to coach it out of it. Oh, Mr. Pudding Shins, you scoundrel. And not even that worked. If I knew it was on a set timer, I would have saved me a lot of time. Look, Boots, Boots, it's moving. Did you listen to my... Oh, sorry. Meanwhile. Lord Sep... Pulcher, I forgot to ask how to pronounce that, my bad. The egg is moving. The hatching time is upon us at last. With the might of this dragon at my command, the world will bow at my feet. The age of darkness begins as soon as my dragon takes its first breath. But- but the hatching will only be a baby, how? The dragon amulet dracketh. With the power of the dragon amulet, the dragon will assume its fully grown form at my command. It costs thirty U.S. dollars. My lord, there's a shell crack in the shell. Every time I see that now, I just hear the Transformers, like, sound effect, because I had to watch the movie, like, the 1980s movie, <laughs> recently. And they don't do that, but I still hear it anyway. Anyway. A crack in the eggshell? It won't be long now. I, I don't know what to do. Should I boil some water? Why would you boil water? I don't know. I just know that people boil water when a baby is about to be born. Just be ready for anything. We still don't know which dragon this will be. The savior of the world or its destroyer. It's time. It's hatching. It is time. 
Oh. Hmm, that's uh, not what I was expecting. Man. M Master, what have you done? Is that better, my little Draco Lich? I think I'll call you Fluffy. It's an irony thing, because it doesn't have any fluff. I'm hilarious. Well, now we can't call ours Fluffy. Here we go. Guys, I think we may have gotten the evil egg. Oh. No, it's so cute. It doesn't look so evil, does it, Twilly? T Twilly? <laughs> Complete twist. Your baby dragon is hatched. Speak to Lady Celestia in Sunbreeze's Grove. She should have some idea of what someone needs to do for a growing baby dragon. I assume a lot of, uh, calcium. There's a fish man. Oh, hey, there's music here, too. Hi. Greetings, Boots. It's good to see you again. Welcome to Sunbreeze Grove, my home and that of my apprentice Alicia. Uh, baby dragon quest and training other quests. This will be fun, because I, like, didn't get to do this when I first played it for obvious reasons. Uh, elementalize. I see that you've been taking good care of the egg that I left in your charge. I always had faith that you would take good care of the e that egg. The time has come for you to make some decisions. You must first choose what dragon's element, what type of damage do you feel would best suit your dragon. Talk to me again when you're done. Uh... Primal? Uh, primal dragons are available when you have discovered how to imbue your titan dragon with the power of the elemental orbs, okay. Uh... I mean, I guess for now, I'm an edgy fuck, so we're going with the darkness one. Destiny swirls around you and your dragons. What does the future hold? Uh, summon? Yeah. What? Okay. Customize? Names have power, Boots. This is a basic rule of magic. Naming something can form a strong connection between you and it. The time has come for you to name your dragon and attempt to shape its appearance. Ah. That's a big head name. Okay, well... My name is Boots, so I'm tempted to name it something stupid like Gloves or something. But, uh... We'll see. Uh... Maybe I'll, like, save this for now, and you guys can put, like, names in the comments that I may or may not use. I don't know, I don't know if I want to commit to that. You know what, yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Should I name it, like, Gloves or, like, Toots? So it's Boots and Toots. <laughs> we're- we're- <laughs> I'm sorry. Back. Uh, your dragon is powerful now, but it has potential to be a force of nature. Equip? Dragon quests. Draco has much to learn. Bonding. Hello, Boots. It's good to see you and Draco again. I'm afraid to say that it I need your help once again. An old friend of mine has a very important package for me. Unfortunately, he is a bit of a recluse. He lives in a cave far to the east, and I cannot make the trip myself. Be sure to tell him that I sent you and make it back with the package before nightfall. You and your dragons. The walk will be nice, and it will give you and Draco a chance to do some real bonding. Read your dragon and you basic needs. Uh. <laughs> Taking care of your dragon means meeting its needs. Your dragon depends on you for a lot of the basic elements of a happy life. Walking your dragon can be a good way to get to know your baby dragon and what it's interested in. And when it's out in the world, dragons are a curious creatures by nature, so be sure to keep a watchful eye on your winged friend. Okie doke. Have fun and be careful for long walk. Oh no. Let's go, buddy. Uh... Oh. I need to... I can't access my inventory on his turn. Nah. We're just having a good time. I can use this dragon amulet daggers now. I don't know if that's what I... 
imagined light to sound like. Also, there's a bit of an irony thing, because I'm using light weapons and he's a dark dragon. He's a little, uh, DNO, I guess, right now. This is what babies you do with newborn babies. You make them fight like buffalo. Pretty sure that's what. Well, come on. He's just. I don't know if this is just a failure of Flash that he's not following, or. And by failure of Flash, I mean my computer being on the. Fritz. And have some bad luck with it lately. Clearly, I need to upgrade to, like, the best, uh, gaming PC money can buy so I can, uh, found. Old bag. Ten bonus gold. This slightly chewed up backpack must have belonged to some unlucky adventurer. Lucky for you, it has a little gold left. I am a rogue. Hi. Dragon paid squirrels. But yeah, like I was saying, clearly I need to update to the highest grade gaming PC in an attempt to uh what's it to play quality games from 2000 the mid 2000s like this and also Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines which yes I will get back to I just I'm having some issues with it See, Dragon, that's what we call a box. Oh no, there's fire boys. <laughs> they do little flips when they're hit, see? Isn't life amazing, baby dragon? Yeah, I don't know what's up with him not following properly. Shit. Uh-huh. Oh, here's a cave in the east. We did it. Oh. I assume these are- his abilities are tied to, like, the dragon chow. It kind of sucks that I just got him, though, because, like, because I got the dragon amulet, I was able to get like that, like way at the beginning, I managed to find a book which would let you, you get a pet, but only if you had a dragon amulet. But now I can't use it. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Gulp, gulp. Does he have little hearts for eyes, or is that just my eyes playing tricks on me? Yeah. I don't know what that did, but I'm glad I fed it the treat. Rawr. He has big ugly... fists. Kinda looks like how they... Like, they somehow made an even worse version of a Pokemon Fire Monkey. I don't know, I saw a meme that was like... Like, the Wi-Fi's one bar down. And then... But like, the images they used to illustrate that were, uh... Infernape. Oh, hey. It's you, it's you! I remember you from the beginning of the game! I remember you too, especially the way you were looking at me like a hero burger. Uh Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just here looking for a friend of Lady Celestia's. He should have a package for her. Ah, so she sent you for the package very well. Oh, okay, then you must be a friend. Yeah, she and I have gotta go way back. So can I have the package? Certainly, hero. Sadly for you, Celestia only said that I had to not eat you that time. What about the package? It was given to you, it is no longer my responsibility. Now get in my be belly. Aw. Leave my pet alone, you big oaf. What is this? I'm Draco, and this hero is Boots of the Prophecy. It is said that she is to be the human who will save her to the world or destroy it. You can't touch her. 
This, this is the hero? You better believe it, you and me. I've seen her do battle. I think this one will be the one that dis who destroys the world. Hey. Oh, sorry, I forgot you could understand Draconic. Very well, you may leave this time. So we're just gonna leave? Do you have a better idea? Yeah, I'm a dragon lord and you're my dragon. Let's teach this big mouth a lesson that he will remember next time he tries to eat me. Oh yeah, I forgot we could do that. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Fuck, sure. <laughs> we look hideous. <laughs> We're gonna lose this fight. But it's fun. <laughs> just... He just threw rocks at us, man. We look at... We're looking... We're in our ugliest form. Yeah. I don't know how... Well... Mistakes were made. I didn't think we'd be doing this this early. But here we go. I'm playing the character, but yeah, Boots, a uh, uh, boy here was right. Socks. <laughs> Socks here was right, we shouldn't have done this. I guess another good name for him could have been, uh... Stockings, I don't know. <laughs> Boots and stocking. Leggings. I guess we'd go for another type of footwear so it's like sneakers. Timberlands. Steve Madden. Oh dear. Oh, his eyes are yellow. No, we're gonna leave. I guess that means we couldn't... Do we not... Okay, well... We tried to do a quest and it was immediately like, hell no. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's an unclimactic way to end- or, You know what, let's see. Uh, baby dragon, let's buy some food, shall we? Super dragon. 25 coins. Puppy snacks, these adorable little bite-sized morsels give your dragon one training point. Pretty princess flakes. The secret sweet dragon food likes long walks on the beach shiny armors of DCs. This dragon food gives two training points. Uh, 20, 10, 5. I guess let's do this one because we have some dragon coins. Alright, let's beat him. Oh, we can't feed him, I guess. Uh, we don't have any points. Well, I guess... Well, I'll leave it here. Sorry that was a bit anticlimactic, but you know what? We got a dragon. This character's looking directly at the stream like she's Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club, and that makes me uncomfortable, so I'm gonna leave. I'll see you guys next episode. <laughs>